All right, people, Mike Salden here again. Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty video. Today, CD Projekt released Patch 2.1. Uh, it's pretty quick after uh, Patch 2.0, but some serious issues were happening uh, with the recent updates, uh, including a bug that hit me, which was corrupting my save files on PS5. It was very concerning. After your save file got to a certain uh, size, uh, the game just started to corrupt the save. Uh, I have a few saves that are still working, so I left the game alone for a few days. As you can see, I've got quite a few saves here. Um, I'm going to go for the top one. Pretty sure this one wasn't corrupted. Uh, but basically what this bug was doing is your newest save file, whatever it was, it would get to a certain uh, size and just would corrupt and you couldn't load it. And there isn't really anything CD Projekt can do about it apparently. If your save broke, it's broke and you just have to start a new save. But if you had a working save, like I had one here before my game started to uh, screw up with this bug. So my game is actually safe. This is a 170 hour save file. Uh, it actually has Phantom Liberty and the main story complete on it. Have, I have all my favorite weapons, all DLV's uh, uh, outfits that I like. Uh, I'm sort of specked out the way I like my character. And it would have really been a shame to lose this sort of really big in time investment that I've put into this game. Because you never know when you want to just load it up. Be at an end game save and just make some videos uh, of something to do with the game. And it would have been a shame if I'd lost that. So I've loaded this up now, this save was always working, I'm going to play for a little while and then I'm going to create a new save and try to load that save and see if the game has been fully fixed. Uh, the save bug issue isn't the only thing addressed but on PlayStation for PlayStation users uh, this save file corrupting thing was the main issue so we're going to be testing that out. Uh, it also has apparently fixed an issue where when you were launching the game without an internet connection or maybe your internet went down, you'd get a prompt to log into GOG again and redo the My Rewards thing. People were annoyed by that. Apparently that's been fixed. Uh, it's changed the vehicle radio volume uh, so it's louder now compared to other sounds in the game. Uh, if you've turned that down, you might want to readjust that or whatever. People were complaining the radio was too quiet. Uh, it's, add all, it's added all their fixed sounds and just tweaked a whole lot of stuff that just wasn't working. Uh, some missions that had problems, uh, such as yeah, moving heat. There would be an issue where all the traffic would disappear after completing that quest. Apparently that's been fixed. There was also an issue where if you got into a combat situation down in the garage of moving heat, uh, it would cause various disruptions. Like I have a glitch on my channel, a video, where I was in the garage for the moving heat quest and this van just starts exploding and it won't stop exploding and you're sort of trapped in there with this van and it's just blowing up all over the place and damaging V and there didn't seem to be any way out of it. Uh, thankfully, uh, I managed to reload that save and I didn't have the save bug yet, uh, but that was pretty weird. Uh, they've also fixed an issue, issue in the mission somewhat damaged, which was preventing the player from scanning the uh, neural network system. That's been patched uh, and they've fixed all their devices in the bunker from that mission. Uh, on the Killing Moon main quest, uh, they fixed an issue that caused doors leading to the shuttle that you put Songbird into being closed and not opening. So apparently that's been fixed. Uh, in the mission You Know My Name, uh, they fixed an issue where V could remain connected to the sniper nest uh, and you couldn't get off the sniper rifle and it stopped you completing that quest. Uh, so they fixed that. Uh, Reed will now wear his party outfit uh, during the dialogue with Songbird instead of being suddenly swapped back to his old outfit which was another bug they apparently fixed. Automatic Love, uh, it fixed the distortion effect 
on that quest when you were talking to Johnny uh, the screen gets a bit glitchy uh, this little effect comes on and it wouldn't go away uh, apparently they fixed that that was an issue that was annoying a lot of people and they've also fixed uh, ghost town an issue where the quest would get stuck on the defeat Nash and his people objective and you couldn't progress past that uh, that's been updated uh, but really, I'm just going to create a little save now after doing that small mission there. And previously when I was making new saves after this final working one, I couldn't reload it. It just said the uh, the file is corrupt or whatever. I have so many saves because I was getting paranoid after reading that news. Um, but this is my new save. Let's see. It, you would get the loading screen, but then eventually uh, it would just say this save is corrupted um, so let's see if it works I hope it does because I was getting annoyed that I couldn't play the game anymore yes there we go all right people thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time with another cyberpunk video and I'm glad this save file bug has been patched